Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I read the long version of the gospel, as you see, uh, as you heard, uh, because it had a line that I wanted to get to that was in the second half of it. Uh, and I, I have to give you a little background story, and I, and I told Ryan to give me a high sign if I rambled on too long, uh, since we had two long readings, and, and we want to get to coffee hour at 10. When I was in seminary, there was a tradition, and it still is, that seniors, last year of seminary, uh, seniors would preach a sermon to the gathered community during one of our um, morning prayer services during the week. Uh, and they assign the readings. You don't get to pick what reading you want to read from. They assign it. They assign a certain week or a certain Sunday's reading to you, uh, and you read it. My buddy Anthony McWinney, who you remember, I hope, from when he came and preached at my installation as your rector, um, he was given the uh, version of Matthew's calling of the first four disciples, the fishermen, about how they left their nets to follow Jesus. And, and Anthony is a fisherman, so we figured he must have paid somebody to get that reading. And it was a beautiful sermon that he, that he preached. And he talked about dropping your nets, and it was funny, and it was moving, and it was touching, and we really didn't like it for it. I was assigned Luke's version of this gospel we just read. Going out, I send you like lambs into the midst of wolves, it says in Luke's version. Sheep into the, to the midst of wolves in Matthew's version. And I'm not a shepherd or anything, and me being me, I preached about werewolves, specifically about the movie The Wolfman with Lon Chaney Jr. from 1941. Uh, it wasn't a bad sermon. It, it, it actually went over pretty well. Uh, it had some humor and some seriousness. But I thought about it again when I was reading Matthew's version of this. I see I'm sending out my sheep into the midst of wolves. And what I preached 12 years ago still holds true today when I really looked at, especially through the lens of the Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr.'s version of that wonderful movie. It's the idea that the wolves aren't out there. The wolves are in here. We have the monsters within us most of the time. And I think, I know Jesus is talking about people outside of the disciples, but Jesus is smarter than that. He knows we've got the monsters in us. He knows that we need to be saved from the wolf that's inside of us. And today, especially right now, I think about that monster inside of us. And for us, and for our, our, not just our generation, for the last 400 years, that monster has been racism. We have that wolf inside of us that keeps wanting to get out and does keep getting out. We see it in slavery. We see it in the Jim Crow laws and reconstruction that came after slavery. We see it in the segregation that has been part of our country. We see it in the KKK. We see it in lynchings and killings. There's a wolf inside of us that keeps wanting to get out. And I'm not Jesus. I'm not that holy. I'm not that smart. But I know there's a wolf in me. I know that I have been complicit in the racism in our country. Not, I'm not an active wolf. I don't go out looking for sheep to kill. I've been a passive wolf, I guess. Because this is a system in our country that privileges me because I'm white and a man. And I don't say enough about that. I let that monster do its thing because it benefits me. And we have to stop that. Now in the first part of this gospel, before the, before the break, and I kept going on and on, Jesus tells them, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. That's the monster 
We have to cast out the monster. We have to cast out the demon of oppression. We have to cast out the demon or the wolf of racism. We have to raise our voices. And people might hate us for it, just like they hated the first disciples for saying that Jesus is the Messiah. People may hate us for us to say racism is a sin. They may hate us if we shine a light on injustice, on racial injustice in our country, and it's there. People may not like that. But we can't be worried about that. We have to tame the wolf. We have to cast it out. We have to be sheep, not wolves. And we have a shepherd, and that's Jesus. And he died on the cross so that we could subjugate the wolf within us. So that we can be people who follow our shepherd Jesus and be like him. And not like the wolf that lives in each and every one of us. So we have to cast out that wolf wherever we see it. We have to speak. We have to march. We have to vote. Because racism is a sin. And we are called to repent of our sins. We are called to give up those things which are sins. And I have a lot of work to do. I have to get rid of that wolf in me that thinks it's okay for me to have advantages just because of the color of my skin. So I hope you will think about this. I hope you will realize that every person has that wolf in them. And we have to do our best to get rid of it and point it out when we see it. Because that's what a shepherd does as well. A shepherd drives off the wolf and calls attention to the other shepherds around saying, look, there's a wolf. We have to drive it off. That's what Jesus came to do, is to drive off that wolf in each and every one of us. So that this place, this world can be like the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven has come near. We want it to be like that. So let's do our best to get rid of that wolf inside us and speak for justice and speak for love. Amen.